Here's another tip on how to regulate your shipping box with heat packs, cold packs, and gel packs. So you can see everything that we have here today, a frozen cold pack, two gel packs, and a heat pack with a 776 box and one leopard gecko. Now it's currently 95 to 100 degrees here in Arizona, but this animal is going into a 37 degree environment to be delivered in a 66 degree environment. So we need to be very careful with how we pack this up. I've done a lot, a lot of testing with 776 boxes and heat packs. And if you can do it correctly, it's one of the safest and most comfortable ways to pack your gecko. So first the heat pack will go on the bottom and then then about a two inch layer of newspaper, then both of your room temperature gel packs. These gel packs were sitting in the room, so they're about 70, 75 degrees. Make sure your four holes are punched in the bottom of the box where the heat packs are sitting so that the air flow can get to them. Then we'll put our gecko in, and now I use these U-line cold packs, and you can see the SKU number there, but these are perfect. You can see that on the front, it says that it stays colder than ice. Now, normally I would put a newspaper layer between the gecko and the cold pack, but the temperature of the cold packs actually actually drop significantly as soon as you pull them out the freezer and so there's enough buffer there with the container about a half an inch or so where the gecko is not touching the ice pack so the gecko's fine and then I will do what's called tucking the gecko in so I'll put another piece of newspaper on the side so that the gecko's not going to move around of course we'll use our logo and business cards and this package will be good to go more tips coming soon